Hi, I'm Christy Reimer with Veterinary Economics Magazine and DVM360.com. Uh, we have just finished our Veterinary Economics Annual Board Meeting, and I'm here with Andy Rollo, DVM, um, member of our ed Editorial Advisory Board, and Carl Saul Cedar, who is a, an attorney and also a member of our Advisory Board. And I just wanted to ask you guys, Andy, if you wouldn't mind, could you tell me a little bit about what we talked about, about um, associates' misperceptions or perceptions of practice ownership, and what are some things that you are leery of when, you, when it comes to owning a practice? Sure. I think there is enthusiasm that comes out of school, but as new associates, we get out there, and certainly we're most affected by our bosses, our owners, and certainly have seen all the hard work and time that they've put in, all those stories of, if you will, walking through snow five miles to school kind of all the hours they put in seven hours a week seven days a week and 12 hour shifts and we ask ourselves as we start to have families and personal lives is that for me and most likely not and so we as the years go on i think me and several others can get a little leery of, of that paradigm of that thought and so uh you know certainly having uh, some board members telling me that, you know, maybe that doesn't have to be that way as well. And uh, it, maybe it's our job to get in there and try to change that paradigm, change that way. So, so yeah, Carl, I would want to ask you, how would you respond to that? Um, if that is a common misperception out there, what are you seeing in the practice, practices you work with where associates are buying, they're buying in and owning for the first time? Well, I think that the opportunities for veterinarians are not well understood by young graduates in that they can make so much more money as an owner, which adds to their commonly known production compensation. Even in my hospital where I have uh, uh, young doctors, uh, they're starting out on their base guaranteed compensation, but as long as we limit their work hours, they want to be, I have two that are, one's been there three years and one's just a new grad, and they both want to be owners because they know that they can have the quality of life and they can get the rewards and the returns on investment on a well-managed practice, which will have excess earnings over the compensation, rather than some of the old paradigms of just owning a job. So this is something that I think we older doctors are not uh, communicating well to the younger doctors that, in fact, there is rewards that can be had with less work and that veterinarians can make more than six-figure numbers as an owner. And I sure recommend it, and I recommend it even as young doctors and even some that have school debt can become owners. And this would be one of the answers to reducing their school debt as long as they get the right loan program or the seller uh, would help do some financing then the young doctors can be owners even when they're having school debt, and then the ownership return could help pay that too. Thanks very much to both of you.